Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is Smith chart part 3. We already completed two parts, part 1 and part 2 related to the Smith chart. If you haven't yet watched those video, do watch those video. Next type of numerical which is not covered in part 1 and 2. The VSWR on a lossless line is 5 and successive voltage minima are 40 centimeters. Voltage minima means the point at which you are getting minimum value of the voltage. So successive voltage minima are 40 centimeters apart. The last minima is at 15 centimeters. This is the give, given distance for last minima from the load. The length of line is 160 centimeter and characteristic impedance, we know that characteristic impedance is denoted by Z0. So it is given as 300 ohm. Using Smith chart, find load impedance and sending end impedance. Do remember sending end means input end. It is also a called input impedance. So we need to calculate load impedance and input impedance. Now, do remember one basic thing. Successive voltage minima are always separated by the distance lambda by 2. Now, given distance for successive voltage minima is 40 centimeter. So from this I can write lambda by 2 is equal to 40 centimeter. Not necessary to convert it into meters because length is also given in centimeters. So I am keeping it as it is. This will give me the value of lambda that is equal to 80 centimeter. Simple to I have transferred at the RHS. Now the last minima is given at 15 centimeter, 15 centimeter. It is given in the question. Last minima is at 15 centimeter. One more conceptual thing. This centimeter meter are different units. There is one more unit in case of a length. That is the length can be expressed in terms of a wavelength. How to do it? This is the given length 15 centimeter. If I want to write the same length in terms of wavelength. So what is the calculated wavelength in this uh, numerical? It is 80 centimeter. So perform this division 50 by 80 and multiply this value by lambda. Mathematically lambda is 80 so lambda and 80 gets cancelled. 15 remains as it is. But the technique is if you want to express the length in terms of uh, wavelength then divide it by the value of lambda and multiply it by the notation lambda. So 15 upon 80 into lambda this will give me 0 0.1875 lambda. Now, remaining part we will complete on the Smith chart. This is the line which is taken as a reference which is a horizontal line. Now, this is the origin of Smith chart marked as O. Given value of VSWR is 5. What I need to do on the horizontal line mark the reading 5 which I have already marked. This is the reading 5. Now, draw a circle taking O as a center and radius 5 like this and draw a circle. I have already drawn this circle. So this is the circle which is a highlighted portion. This is known as VSWR circle. In the earlier numerical what we did there was some point A somewhere here. We marked that point A. We took the radius OA. Then we have drawn the circle and the circle which intersects horizontal line on the right hand side that reading we considered it as VSWR. But in this problem VSWR is already given. So what I did first I marked this point and then I have drawn this circle. This is the difference. Now on this horizontal side extreme left hand side point is marked as V minimum. This is known as V minimum condition where extreme right hand side point this point is marked as V maximum. This is the maximum voltage point. What we need to do we have calculated this value that is last minima is located at 0 0.1875 lambda. We have to move this much distance towards load. Now listen the things carefully. This reading, the uppermost reading, this reading I am talking about. The direction is like this. This is wavelength towards generator. We don't have to consider this reading. What we need to consider, we have to consider the reading which is marked as wavelength towards load. I am talking about this reading. I will highlight the entire reading like this. 
this is the wavelength towards load i need to consider this reading direction is like this and i have to mark the point which is at 0.1875 lambda now observe this reading this is 0 0.15 0 0.16 0 0.17 0 0.18 and 0.19 so 0.1875 will be here so i have marked this point what i need to do from this point that is the from the reading of 0 0.1875 lambda draw a line towards origin like this wherever this line crosses vswr circle mark this as point b whereas this horizontal line crosses this vswr circle at this point so this point is marked as point a so i'm taking the same read, same readings using different uh, smith chart where i have printed all the things just for the clarity this distance as we mentioned is point a 0.1875 lambda from A to load point. A is this point uh, which is marked on the horizontal line where this uh, VSWR, this is the VSWR circle where this VSWR circle crosses. So let us say this point is A. So from point A, this is the distance measured. We already discussed this. So this is the distance 0.1875. Draw a line like this towards origin this point is b this is the point of intersection what we are interested in we have to take the readings of point b recall the things if any point is below this horizontal line this is the reference horizontal line if any point is below the horizontal line its readings are minus j now since it is below the horizontal line we will consider this as a minus j value now to take the readings of point B, we have to first consider which circle, entire circle passes through point B. So I will mark this line like this. If I will move it, so this is the circle. Whose reading? This reading is 1.0, this is 1.2, this is 1.1. It is in between 1.0 and 1.1. So let us say this value is 1.05. Now, this is the value of R. To calculate J, I have to check which arc passes through this point. So, the arc which is passing through this point, to, uh, to check the position of arc, I will have to refer these readings, these readings which I have highlighted. These readings are used to measure the value of J. As we discussed in point P is below, point B is below this horizontal line, J, reading of J will be negative. I will have to check which arc passes through this. So this arc is passing through point B. Its value is 1.9. So this value is, this value I am talking about is 1.9. That means the value of impedance, I will denote it by Z in which is at point uh, B is 1.05 minus J 1.9. This is the value of impedance. Now, this is not the end of calculation. To calculate the final impedance, what do we need to do? We need to multiply this value by the characteristic impedance. That means actual impedance, impedance will be this value multiplied by characteristic impedance which is z denoted by z0 and his its value is uh, 300 so final answer will be 315 minus j 570 since it is impedance input impedance at the uh, uh, or impedance at the load its unit is ohm now the last calculation what is asked in the question it is asked to calculate the sending end impedance See, even if I have written the notation as Z in, it is actually ZL because it is the impedance at the load because we have measured it from the load end. Since I have used the normal method, I have put the notation Z in. In this case, it is ZL because we have taken the readings from the load terminal. Now, next part is sending an impedance. See, it is asked to calculate sending an impedance and the given length is 160 centimeter. This is the given length in the question. We will convert this length in terms of wavelength. How to convert it? It is 160 
upon 80. What is 80? 80 is the value of lambda which we had calculated. So 160 upon 80 multiply this value by lambda. This gives the equivalent value of 160 centimeter in terms of wavelength. So it represents 2 lambda. What does this mean? It means that we have to rotate this point B in another language. We have to rotate readings of point B by the position 2 lambda. At that point, wherever we will get the, that point uh, of position 2 lambda, we will get the answer of sending an impedance. But the things are very simple. If you complete one rotation, then it represents value of lambda. In this case, we have to complete two two lambda positions that means we have to complete two positions so if you start from point b and if you complete two positions when you will start moving towards sending end you will be reaching at the same point very simple logic because one lambda represents one full rotation so two lambda means two times you you need to perform the rotation but you will be at the same point what does does this mean after doing this rotation you are getting the same reading same point b so answer of zl and input end or sending an impedance is same which is 315 minus j570 so that's it for today's session thanks for attending this session one more type of uh, variation is remaining that will we'll be covering in the next session thank you very much